If you thought last year was good for FPSs, you've not seen anything yet. Strafe brings new meaning to the term first person shooter. Just look at these bleeding edge graphics, they could almost be ripped straight out of the latest Hollywood blockbusters. But somehow Strafe manages to get it all up and running on a rather affordable home computer. And actually, it's even going to come to Sony's latest PlayStation home console as well. That is some coding wizardry going on right there. This clearly isn't your daddy's shooter from like 1993 or whatever. You've got to do everything all at once. There's no dilly dallying around. You've got to keep on moving and shooting at the same damn time. There's no time for anything like this. Nah, enough of that. This is how Strafe is meant to be played, going hell for leather against the mutant leftovers of the crew of the starship Icarus. You're far away from home and you've got no friends except for the trusty gun you grabbed on your way to the teleporter when you start the game. Every time you load up the game, you'll see a completely different level in the campaign. I'm told it's inspired from a little known game called Rogue Exploring the Dungeons of Doom, and a bit like Rogue, the game creates the levels in millions of different possibilities, kitting them out with different layouts, different enemies, different weapon pickups, vendors, and more beyond that. Now, you've got to wonder, if the game's all being randomly generated, how can it have the same deep and involving story as Doom? The simple answer is, it doesn't quite try to, but there is an overall narrative, taking you first onto the Icarus and then down to the planet below, as just the first two areas in the game. You might be hunting for keycards and battling mutants up in space, but it's completely different in the Black Canyon area. You're hunting for bombs that can be used to blow open new paths and fending off bugs with acid for blood. That blood, by the way, it's permanent. It paints the floor, the ceiling, the walls, spattering everywhere in such a gruesome manner that this game probably isn't going to get into the hands of Australian gamers anytime soon. It doesn't take long to learn that acid blood burns, but you can just cover it over with the nice red human blood and make the floor safe to walk on again. It's a bit like a game of The Floor is Lava, but for adults. Adults playing mature video games that deal with mature topics, like space and killing mutants. And all of those guns? Well, you've got three starter guns to choose from, the genre-defining shotgun, the assault rifle, and a railgun that I'm sure the US military would love to get their hands on. And each one of these has got a secondary fire like a grenade launcher or an explosive energy ball. But these can get even better. Killing enemies and finding crates in the game let you pick up scrap, and you can recycle that scrap at machines in the game's world. This is one game that's bound to be endorsed by Greenpeace. Get enough scrap together and put it and your gun into the machine for a while and you'll eventually get a better version of that gun, maybe with a new secondary fire like a laser-guided rocket launcher. You might have to survive a while for that actually to happen because the machine does bring a fair bit of noise which brings enemies towards you, but don't worry, you won't be empty handed without the gun. Well you might be, but you can also find other shotguns, plasma guns and even RPGs to pick up in the world and blow stuff up with. Just beware that there is no reloading of those guns, so you've got to keep that ammo in check. But really, this game is just all about the action, guys. It's so blazingly fast, you'll have to clean your mouse ball in a matter of minutes of playing this game. In the hands of one of the game's developers and masters, it's a whirlwind of motion. But even I can start getting pretty good at this game thanks to the game's extensive tutorial that boasts FMV with ultra high production value. Seriously, I know it's only March right now and this game isn't coming out until like May or something. And I know Nintendo's got a new console out and the Japanese giant's doing some amazing things right now. But I'm pretty confident in already calling this game my game of the year. Alright dudes, that's all you're going to get out of this sweet video. Thanks for watching. I know a lot of you aren't lucky enough to have those 56k modems yet, and your brothers and sisters are probably complaining that they want to use the phone to call their friends. But before you go, hit like and subscribe, and you know where to find us on thesicktaxis.com. So, ciao guys!